What's going on, y'all? Man, I just got to run in, took a shower. I'm like, man, I feel like talking real quick, man. So we here, man. And as you can see, man, from the title of this video, <clears throat> the Floyd Mayweather mindset versus the Adrian Broner mindset. Now, let's go ahead and give you a disclaimer, right? We know that so let's just say this. You can have the Floyd Mayweather mindset and not have Floyd Mayweather money, right? And vice versa. So with that being established, now let's get into the video. Look, so Floyd and Adrian Broner is definitely two different people, right? Two different individuals and that went two separate paths. One path of destruction and one path of abundance, right? And it's all, and both of them went down that path because they had the opposite mindset, right? <clears throat> so let's so let's go ahead and use Adrian Broner, right? See, a lot of people have the Adrian Broner mindset, right? You see, one thing's for sure, right? Let's just be real. If you can bring something to the world, if you can have a skill set that's beneficial to the world, <clears throat> and if you go ahead and go about it the correct way, you can make a good amount of money, right? So Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather has, has a skill set that's beneficial to the world. They are very good at boxing, right? Elite at boxing. They're one of the best of the best at boxing, and they get paid for it, right? And the reason why that's <clears throat> something for the world is because the world wants to be to entertain. The world loves to see a fight, right? So therefore, they dedicated their whole lives to be in this position to make this type of bag, to perform, to do something that they dedicated their life to learn, which is a skill, right? Learn, learn how to fight is a skill and a skill that can go ahead and pay the bills, right? You ever heard skill pay the bills? Skill pay the bills. Skill pay and made the bills still to this day with these exhibition nets. Skills pay the bills. So let's talk real quick, right? So... Let's, let's, let's look at it through the money point of view, right? Floyd Mayweather made smart investments. And he was making smart investments. Which now is paying dividends. Now, Adrian Broner decided to not make smart investments. He decided to invest, do the opposite of what Floyd did. Floyd decided to invest in assets and Broner decide to go ahead and invest in liabilities. I'm like, what do you mean? Right, your Broner probably didn't do no investing. Yes, he did. He invested in putting destruction in his body. He invested in putting all that liquor. He invested in not taking care of himself, which in turn messed up his career. Right? See, and the cool thing about it is you can't always blame everything on your childhood. Or what you're going through. Floyd had it rough. Floyd, probably, he might still have it. Who knows? We know he ain't got it rough financially. It's all about the decisions that you make. And Floyd decided to make better decisions. Adrian Broner did it. Now look at the two and how they live in. Right? Floyd... Adrian Broner is signing with everybody and their mama just to try to go ahead and get an opportunity at this point. Age Floyd Mayweather decided to go ahead and take that chance on himself and believe in himself and surrounded himself with the right people, which in turn, he became his own boss. And a lot of people became and fought on his terms. He came into the sport being the B side of things and developed with his hard work and dedication to becoming the A side of things, right? See, now they're like, how does this apply to us? Well, I'll tell you, a lot of y'all are lazy. A lot of y'all have all these dreams and aspirations of opening businesses, doing this, doing big things. But your work ethic and what you do on a daily doesn't show. You rather kick it like Adrian Broner, then stay in and put that hard work dedication in like Floyd Mayweather. And that's the difference. 
That's why you stay in the way that, that's why you stay in the same circumstances that you are in now. Because you decided to go ahead to not make that sacrifice. You have to make a sacrifice in life. Everything that you do in life, whether it be positive or negative, come with a cost. What cost are you willing to pay? Right? You know, if you want something, you got to go ahead and apply yourself to it. Evidently, Floyd Mayweather wanted to go ahead and get his family out of them poverty-stricken circumstances. Adrian Broner had that same opportunity, but fumbled the bag because he didn't take. See, he got to a certain point and got satisfied, right? He got a little bit of success and got satisfied. He didn't have to be humble. Of course, he didn't have to be. He got there. He didn't have to be humble. But he decided to not be, but he decided to go ahead and do what was not best for him at that time. Surround himself by people who wouldn't benefit. Oh, come on now. Y'all know I'm talking to y'all. He surrounded himself by people that wasn't beneficial to him. What did, every time, even though boxing is a sport that you, is an individual sport that you participate in on fight night, who gets you ready as a team? It's still a team sport. If you're going to have success in life, it's a team sport. You need people to go ahead and go all the way. There's certain things that you can't do. Guess what? You need somebody. So all that, I, I can do it on my own and all that. No, you can't. Quit lying. <clears throat> can't nobody do it alone. This is facts. Floyd said, I put together a team. I help. I got a good team around me. And that good team around him was also a good investment. Now look at, like I said, what Brona put around him. A lot of y'all got some ancient friends that's influenced you to do bad things that isn't about nothing, which is rubbing off on you, right? So you got to change who you be around, right? I had to do the same thing, right? You are definitely who you hang with. This is a fact, right? When I was... When I would hang with a bad crowd, when I would hang with the homies, right? No matter how smart I am and yada, 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 right? I will always end up in circumstances that wasn't beneficial to my life. But when I remove myself from that situation and started dealing with people who are about something, my outlook and motivation improved drastically. See, a lot of y'all make excuses. Just like Adrian Broner. Want a handout, just like Adrian Broner. Now, now begging and crying like Adrian Broner. When all in our reality, Adrian Broner did it to himself. Did you ever see Floyd Mayweather make excuses? No, he went to go do something about it. And a lot of y'all ain't doing nothing about it. A lot of y'all have this Adrian Broner mindset. And that's why you won't be successful. You don't have to have it all right now. A lot of y'all that I'm speaking to don't have it all right now. A lot of y'all may not ever see Floyd Mayweather money. Some of y'all may. But how would you ever try and how would you ever even live the life that you want to without that Floyd Mayweather mindset? People talk about education. Yes, education is key. But evidently, Floyd Mayweather didn't get the education that a lot of people think about. He went on ahead and educated. He went on ahead and paid to get into certain rooms. He went on ahead and made him uh, dealing with certain people that was about something and dealing with other sp people smarter than him in certain spaces. He learned from them. Floyd was smart. And by him being smart, he living like the way he wants. He got him a whole airport. Come on, man. Got a whole bunch of cars, living the way he want to live, living life, smile on his face, right? He may be going through something, who knows? But the only thing that we see from the outside in is that money. And let's be honest with you, everybody and their mama think about that money. Now look at Adrian Broner. He got to get paid in installments because he's irresponsible with his money. 
He got the he's looking for a paycheck. This man was supposed to have been fighting already, and this man done went through three, four opponents and didn't fight none of them. While Floyd out here having fun fighting YouTubers, getting the bag. <clears throat> Come on, man. If you go ahead and sacrifice now, you can enjoy later. Some of y'all want to enjoy now and think you're going to enjoy later. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. One of the things that I adopted that I love that Floyd said is hard work, dedication, facts, hard work, dedication to get you through a whole lot. Hard work, dedication to go ahead and put you in things and get you in places that you never thought that you can be in. But if you stick to the cause and you stick to the plan, you're going to get there. But evidently, Adrian Broner didn't have that mindset of hard work, dedication. Now look at him. It's a sad case, man. And he was talented, right? See, I like Adrian Broner. I like Floyd Mayweather, right? Two fighters that talk that mess, man. Because, you know, I, I'm a mess talker myself, right? So, of course, I love somebody else who talk that mess. But one mess talker was smart, while the other wasn't. Now, look. See, a lot of y'all is going to be in trouble and be in a whole world of hurt because of the decision makers that you make on the daily. Every day you should be making a decision that's towards your future. <clears throat> every minute, every hour, right? While you sitting around watching TV, you could be reading a book, <laughs> right? So let, let, let's look at it today. It's March Madness today. I would have loved to sit in front of the TV all day. But I had to put that work in, man. I had to get stuff done. So I probably was only able to watch maybe about a, a good 30 minutes of it, man. Then I had to get to work, man. Because I want something in life, right? They out there fighting for their dreams. They out there working towards something. I'm watching them work towards something, using that as entertainment. No, 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 no. What do I look like watching everybody else get their dreams, reach their dreams and get money? And I'm sitting over, no, 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 no. I need to go get proactive. A lot of y'all ain't got to make a sacrifice. I love March Madness. I used to not ever, ever miss a minute, an hour of any basketball game, football. Man, you name it. TNT, I'm in front of it. Every, come on, Saturday, college, I'm in front of it. But I don't have that luxury anymore. Because there's something that's bigger than me that needs to be accomplished that's going to have to call that comes with a sacrifice. A lot of y'all are allergic to the word sacrifice. And it's sad. So what you going to do? You going to have that Floyd Mayweather hard work dedication and accomplish your goals and accomplish whatever you want in life? Or is you going to have that Adrian Broner mindset, being complacent, lazy, making bad decisions to have a bad life, right? See, everybody ain't going to be a millionaire. Everybody ain't going to be a billionaire. But that don't mean you can't live a life that you want to live. But you got to dedicate yourself to it, though. You got to dedicate because everybody can go ahead and have some money and live real nice. But everybody won't. Because they don't have that Floyd Mayweather mindset. You hear people talk all day. What good is having information and you don't apply it to your life? That's a waste. That was a waste. And that was a waste of body consuming that information if you ain't going to apply it. It's a waste. Information is supposed to be applied. Who <clears throat> the cold thing about it is Adrian Broner was under Floyd Mayweather. Right? He was watching Floyd Mayweather. He's seen how he worked. I seen a little interview, man, uh, with Zab Judah. Zab Judah said, man, that boy Floyd Mayweather worked like he he worked out like he was broke. He said, man, they just come up from a gym session and a few hours later, early in the morning, he said, You ready to run? He said, What you you ready to run? That hard work dedication. And it showed in the ring when he outlasted his opponents for being in better shape because he went on the head and put that work in. 
While others gashed out, he was still ready to go. But you'll see Adrian Broner, he'll get, he don't take a fight serious. He may get gassed out and he getting dropped by Marcos Madonna. Taking it for granted. Floyd Mayweather went in and, and beat Marcos McDonough twice. Adrian Broner had the talent to beat Marcos Mandana, but he didn't have the work ethic and the mindset to go ahead and beat Marcos Mandana. And that was the difference. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes talent, sometimes that talent, man, you could, what, what good is having a talent if you ain't working hard? Floyd had a talent and the work ethic. A lot of y'all have the talent, but no work ethic. Y'all some Adrian Broners. You guys to develop. I didn't always have this work ethic. I developed it over time. It's going to take time. Anything that's worth having, anything that's going to stick is going to take time. You're not going to get it overnight. I don't care what these people tell you on YouTube. It, whatever. They, I don't care what they tell you. Everything that you're going to do and learn, it's going to take some time. But if you want it bad enough, you're going to make it happen. But if you don't, you're going to make excuses. <laughs> Drinking away. Kicking it. Going to the club. For what? Why you, what you, what, what, why you, kick, why you going to the club for? First of all, I'm, I don't want no friends who go going to the club. <clears throat> that just sounds unproductive to me. That just sounds very Adrian Bronish to me. Floyd Mayweather went to the club after he accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. He knew he had the discipline. Even when he wasn't fighting, he had the discipline to stay ready. So he ain't had to get ready. Adrian Broner mess around. He'll ain't fighting. He'll get a big old belly. But boxing is your job. All you got to do is just stay ready. Box. Stay and and, and 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 profit, and he couldn't do that. It's a sad case. So, I don't. I know it's an upload, and I don't want to talk your ears off. But to be honest with you, it's either you're Floyd or you're Adrian. It don't matter what your status is. It's either you're Floyd or Adrian. And the cool thing about it is, even if you Adrian right now. You can look at this video by the end of this video and decide that you want to be Floyd Mayweather. But guess what, though? It's going to come with a cost. But a cost that is indeed you should be willing to pay and enjoy paying because it's going to pay off for you in the end. Or you can go ahead and enjoy yourself and always be talking about what if, what if, I wish I did this. I don't want to do that. And I hope you don't either. But anywho, man, I hope you guys got some value from this video, right? I was going to make this a live, but I'm like, I can make this an upload, and I can be quick, because I'm pretty sure in the live, y'all might have, you know what I mean? Sometimes y'all attention span be kind of low, you know what I'm saying? I like, get to the point of our value. We got to the point on this one, y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all go ahead, man, and like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share on whatever you can, all kind of platforms. Share this content. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear it. Somebody is being lied to. But I'm going to give you the truth. Because the truth shall set you free. All right, y'all.